Hashem, Hashem, Nasim, Nasiach. Perhaps if you can speak a few words about Harav Chaim Kanievsky, Alav Shalom. It's uh, still his honor. It's hard to believe that he passed to the next world. Hashem, is the should be a protection for Am Israel. So uh, I remember a few years ago, I had a shaila, I had a question that I went to Harav uh, Eliezer ben David Olav Shalom and I asked Harav Eliezer ben David Olav Shalom about a particular name a particular name that is not the Hebrew name of a person it's a more of a French name and this individual does not have any other name but that French name I, I cannot say, sorry uh, because there is somebody here who is related so um, that French name, the question was if the name should be changed or not. And the problem is that changing a name is not something easy. You know, people who don't know, they just go ahead and they call themselves names. You know, they just, if they didn't have a Hebrew name, they just say, okay, from now on, on call me this name. First of all, that, the name that is not announced in a, in a group of 10 men is not a new name. A name has to be announced, uh, it has to be, a uh, Mishabarach should be given uh, by the Torah preferably where there is Asara. And that name would be established. Now changing a name is very dangerous. Why? Because every name has certain mazal with it. Right? Every name has certain mazal. Like Abraham. Abraham is the name that has the mazal of Chesed. Chesed, Rahamim, right? kindness. Right? People who have the name of, of Abraham, they tend to be merciful to others. They tend to forgive, uh, they, t- they tend to help others, right? Now, uh, people who have the name of Ishaq, they, they might have more Gevura, right? They might have more Gevura, right? Uh, they also have Chesed, right? It's a mixture of Gevura and Chesed. So this question, uh, was a very delicate question. I asked Harav Ben David al Shalom, what should we do with this French name? Right? There are times that if a person is not feeling well and needs the Segula of Shinui Shem, because as we know, Shinui Shem is Shinui Mazal. Changing one's name also changes the Mazal. So it's a very difficult decision to make. So what the Chachamim suggests is to add a name of Haim life or Raphael, right? those are the names that really do not make a big difference. Mostly Chaim and Chaya for ladies. So Arab Ben David al-Shalom told me to go and, and have this question asked from Harab Chaim Kanievsky al-Shalom. Right? So we asked, we sent a messenger to uh, one of his Gabaim and they asked the question about that French name and uh, Rav Chaim Konevsky, Allah wa shalom, Paskind, right, halachic decision, do not change the name. Keep the name. So that was one of the personal uh, experience that I had. And then Baruch Hashem, I, I had the privilege to see Rav Chaim, Allah wa shalom, twice. Right? Um, and one time we even sent him a letter. Right? And he answered back. Right? He answered back. And, and today I heard that one of the, this I can say, who said this uh, over, because it was said in a group of three people, right? Rav Moshe Yagubi Shalita, right? He, he, had a, uh, he went to Rav Chaim Konevsky, and back then he had three girls, uh, three daughters. He went to Rav Chaim and the, the daughters, the, the oldest one was five years old or maybe less than five, so they allowed him to go with the daughters. And Rav Chaim looked at the, uh, the, the daughters and said, you only have daughters? Right? And, uh, and uh, uh, Rav, uh, Rav Yaakov said, yes. Right? So obviously he was there to get a berakha for Ben Zakhar. Then he banged on the table, said Ben Zakhar. And the next child he had was Ben Zakhar. Right? Right, Shana Haba. Uh, he said Shana, uh, very good. He said Ben Zakhar Shana Haba, right? And 
Baruch Hashem, he had this uh, child. Another Shaila that he asked from Rav Chaim Konevsky, Allah was that um, those Bachurim that they go to Yeshiva in Es Israel and uh, they want to come, uh, come back to United States and go to Lakewood. Should they go to Lakewood or should they come to LA if they are originally from LA and join his Yeshiva program that he had back then? So he said, no, they should come back to LA and come, join your program. Perhaps this way, right, um, they should be, uh, uh, you know, sharing the Torah, Kimisyon Torah, uh, with others, right? Another personal experience that I had, we, uh, so uh, when I went, I think it was back in 2015, we went to the Bet Knesset and everyone were going and quickly getting Barakha, so I said what I need Barakha for and I, uh, who I needed the Barakha for, and he said Lefua Shalema, and the Lefua Shalema came through. Right? So uh, there are many stories to share. Uh, it's very difficult to understand, you know, now that we don't have the Sarha Torah. Right, uh, Hashem is going to have Bezat uh, Hashem Rahamim with us, and uh, uh, what the zechut that uh, we had, and we don't have it right now. But Bezat Hashem, what we can remember is that uh, we should also be focused with Torah learning. They say, you know, many times he would give a bracha, and the bracha would come true. So there was uh, this gadol that said that Chaim Ozer, Allah Shalom, right, is not known that he he has such a power to his tefilot. Uh, such a powerful tefillah that uh, Rav Chaim had, you know, he was known as the, having some sort of Ruach HaGodesh, right, in, uh, in, in today's time. So what about the time of Rav Chaim Ozer, Allah wa Shalom? So they say because Rav Chaim was the Sara Torah, he was the representative of Torah Shebalpe, what HaGodesh Baruchur did was that his Words were, 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 were so powerful that because of Torah Shebalpe that he knew and he would constantly be learning Torah, you know, he, many times he didn't do many Sifukim and many difficulties, you know, many Tikkunim that other sectors do, you know, and uh, rightfully so. There are many Tikkunim that people could do, but some, some se- sectors, Ashkenazim, they stick with Torah. Talmud Torah can get Kulam. And we see through that Talmud Torah can get Kulam. And his power of, to- of Torah, his tefillot came true. That from everywhere, people went uh, uh, and got bracha. Another fascinating, unbelievable story I heard from Rab Moshe Yaakov Shalita was that, uh, I, I, and I end with this, right, was that uh, uh, there was uh, this person who was traveling to Eretz Israel and had the names of people who wanted Rav Chaim to pray for, right, and. He got the names to Rav Chaim, three names. Rav Chaim uh, read the first name, skipped the second name and the third name. This guy got worried. I want the second name to be read. So he pointed again. Right, Please, Kibbutz Rav, the second name also. Again, Rav Chaim went first name, skipped the, the, the second name. This was for the first Shalema and the third name. And so he left. Then he called the United States, you know, he called, you know, saying, uh, I wanted to get Barakha, but for some reason, Rav Chaim did not give, give Barakha for the, the first name for the second name. How is, how is she doing? And, and they said that she passed away. Uh, so another was, there was some sort of understanding, divine right, information, that the second name did not need the first name. That Hashem, the Zechut of the Sadiqim should be a protection to us. Sarikh Lishosh Reshut.